Hello again guys. Um, in this tutorial you will learn how to create a simple script uh, using a program called Pauno and Pauno always come with the several files you downloaded before. Okay, let's begin. First of all, go into Pauno folder and then right click on Pauno and go to properties and go to compatibility and make sure that in the privilege level Run this program as an administrator, it's checked. And I press OK. And then open panel. As you open panel, this window will be displayed. Right, first of all, if you want to create a whole new, new game mode or new script, just click on this button right here to create a new file, script file. And uh, then you'll, you'll be able to create and scratch yourself from the from the scratch All right let me explain some few stuff in this tutorial since we are making a simple script we will learn how to create a simple command but before that to create a simple command we have to understand that we have about three command processors we have ZCMD and we have strcmp and finally we have dcmd and right now the best the best command processor uh, nowadays is zcmd so we're gonna use zcmd all right so basically to uh, to use it you have to type here create a new line in here and type include ZCMD and close it and compile. Let's name it. Alright, as, as, as you compile, just go into the game modes folder because this is game mode we are, we are scripting right now, and then let's rename it test. It compiled. But there's something I need to, to point out is that you will not be having this actually be having an, an, an error if you're not having ZCMD file into um, inside of your in cloud folder which is in Pauno then you're gonna have to download it first before attempting to include that file so a download link will be at the description and you basically download the file and you put it here panel include and paste it right here and then include just under same here type this and compile make sure you don't have any errors and it looks like that if you have no errors then you're fine by then right now how to create a command All right um, in this tutorial we will create two simple commands using an exception which is if and a simple command to heal yourself and give yourself armor. So after you have included your Z C and C M D, which is the considered the fastest and the the easiest way, the easiest command process to use, we will right now create it. So don't do anything here since we are using Z C M D command processor, then you don't have to um, put your commands in this function. We will actually create our commands behind um, right under return zero. So we type this cmd and two dots um, up there, and then type um, your command here. Your command here. So actually, the first command we will we will script is heal so we're gonna type heal and then open up like this player on the params just like that I think it's easy to to do that and just have to understand how it works with ZCMD command processor you have to to understand and um, and to acknowledge the um, the command and how it looks like. So after you created this command and 
and after you written uh, after you wrote actually uh, those two both lines and you have to open up this thing and then you begin to uh, write what happens when the player uh, types heal alright so basically we're gonna do this set player health player ID one handed and that's exactly that will set the player health to one hundred easy enough and you return one is actually used to return so you don't mix the uh, all the commands all together every command has to be separated by itself alright so let's create another command which is armor alright set player armor player ID 100 the same thing now you created two commands let's create a third command which will be using an exception in it which is fix and the fix command is supposed to be used to fix or repair your vehicle so I'll show you what the kind of exception we'll be using here the kind of exception we'll be using is if so we will be basically if the player types if and the player is not in a vehicle then what to fix then we will display an error to the player that he is not in a vehicle so we have to to basically literally say that if the player is not in a vehicle then it will send the player an error telling him to go into a vehicle first or you're not in a vehicle so how to do this we're gonna type F in space and open up this and this this is used um, to uh, to um, it's like a negative like I'll tell you how to do this I'll try to explain as much as possible alright so basically is player in any vehicle let's check if is a player in any vehicle and open like this and type player at and to this to, to close this and this to close this you realize that okay but we we forgot something because we said if is player in any vehicle that will check if the player is in a vehicle but I want to check if the player is not in a vehicle so to add that negative um, thing you just have to add this expression mark then we're gonna type return here return is to return uh, actually return here is used to to uh, to uh, to stop the uh, anything and um, this, 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 you know return to the top you know is that that means that it will not continue because the player is not on vehicle so that so basically we're gonna return send slide message player ID and the color um, should be like this for example and then the constant message is should be error you are not in a vehicle and that's how you read now that means that this line will check if the player is not in a vehicle and if he is not in a vehicle then it will return a message to the player saying that he is not on a vehicle and all of the um, of the um, of the blue will not be continued because I'm returning here a message and then the operation or any kind of uh, continued um, operations is stopped I hope I you got that okay anyway uh, now the player is not in a vehicle then it will display an error okay that means that the player is in a vehicle okay so if he is in a vehicle then we're gonna type this repair 
vehicle the vehicle ID that the vehicle ID is simply the ID of the vehicle that the, that the player is in so to you have to tell first Sam to acknowledge or, or uh, try to define the uh, player's ID by simply checking which vehicle ID the player is using or the player is driving so we have to do this get player vehicle ID player ID and close again and then return one code and that's how you actually uh, use the uh, the F exception and that's actually there, there's a lot of horror ways and there's a lot of horror stuff but this is the simple this is the most this is a, this is the simplest way to use F exception here and then compile and you should compile without no errors just make sure you write everything correctly and now you're gonna run your server and I'm gonna tell you how to run your server right now alright so since you scripted the stuff here and with no errors that means that the game mode is already there into the game modes folder and you're gonna see test here you're gonna see the test pwn file and you're also gonna see the test um, amx file so how to run the game mode after you, you have done it you have done the scripting yeah that's a very good question just go into the server config file in the main that, that in the main folder on the main directory of the uh, same server files and you're gonna find here alright so basically you're gonna find something like this actually you're gonna fail just delete all that and make a game mode and then type 0 and then type test this is the name of the game mode you just created it we need remember we, we we named it test right that's right and then it's placed and then one okay so ba so basically zero is um, that means okay so these numbers are actually used because you can also create more than one game mode and you can convert stuff so just type it like this and I'll explain this later okay so once you did it make sure you also have a recon password a recon password is important because it allows uh, to uh, to, uh, to to control your server using the recon commands you have to you have to define a password by b by default uh, the password is this but the server will not run unless you change this so you have to change it to your desired password so I'll make it 111 okay this is my max players and that's the port this, the port is important and you shouldn't mess with the port because by default the port is 7777 and this is important this is very important because the port is what's used to make your server online for other people and if you um, if you don't pay attention to port um, then people will not be able to join your server only you will see your server online but other people will not be able to to see your server online so your server uh, will be lame but uh, to, uh, to, to make your server online worldwide by all the same uh, players you have to pay attention to this port so don't change it right now it will focus on the port using pull forward to pull forward your router or your internet connection and I'll try to explain how to pull forward your internet connection uh, uh, and then exactly we will pull forward uh, and pull forward means that you open a port and we will open the port 7777 which you just already be using so, so basically the server will not be able to to be online unless you open the port that the server will be using to be online to become online so that's actually my explanation about the port so just leave it and we will explain this into a port forward uh, tutorial okay this is your host name the host name is simply displayed uh, on your server <coughs> this is the host name which is also displayed <coughs> sorry so this is the host server name <coughs> and this is the plugins all right simply the plugins are very very important and uh, you have to download these three plugins and simply just type plugins and then you're gonna go into the plugins folder and you're gonna see what you should run 
so the important plugin to run is simply streamer wirepool and that's all and also I'll uh, I'll put these two these two um, uh, plugins to make sure that you uh, or maybe use Google to to get them if my if my links somehow don't work because my links get get expired after a few months. Right, this is the uh, web URL. This is the website. If you have a forum for your for your server hosting, then you should change this into to your website. Um, and don't mess with this if you don't understand what what do they do. If you mess with them you will screw your server and this is the name mode just make sure you keep it zero because we want you want your server to be online and used by all the players so don't change it to one because we are willing to make the server online worldwide not land just not not just land so okay and the announce we we actually we actually explained announce into our first part of our tutorial uh, and we said that announce makes your server go online and uh, it goes to your internet list what mean internet list? that means the internet list which is this into the, your same client okay so that's basically a simple explanation about it and make sure you run your game mode correctly and after you have run it make sure you save it and then go to here and run your same server You'll find a C. Um, you'll find a similar, similar ticket. Just make sure that the black window is open. Minimize this, and go into your same client, and you add, click on add server, and to be able to join your server, you have to add this. Don't go into your uh, your Firefox or your browser and uh, and search for your um, for your server IP because you don't have to you just do this you're gonna check again what port you're using we are using port 7777 so simply and yeah simply you just do this add 7777 okay and here's your um it's already there so yeah here it is and it's on you see the ping and my ping is 5. Why is it too low? Because it's hosted with your internet connection and you'll be using your server at the same place, at the same internet, so you'll not lag at all. But other players will lag, of course. Yeah, they'll have uh, a higher latency. Maybe like 200 and 100 if you're using a, a simple uh, connection. So again, how to add your server? Just like that. Here. And that's the name, and that's the mode, and that's the map. So, um, you go on it, and you spawn yourself, just click on the spawn button, and then you're gonna type the commands we scripted, heal, armor, and, um, and fix. And make sure they all work, and, uh, in the next tutorial we will learn how to spawn a vehicle by typing its ID and also how to create a vehicle menu and we will do a lot of stuff in the next tutorials so enjoy see you